MMAfighting.com and I'm here with Keith McCabe who takes on Phil Peter at Bellator Dublin later on this week. Um, first of all, Keith, your fight is becoming more and more prominent. There's been a lot of drop-offs and this has suddenly become a huge domestic fight as far as I'm concerned. Do you feel that, I mean, as these fights are going on, are you going, oh, well, th this is becoming more and more important for me? Uh, it's, it's definitely not more important. I mean, it's, it's, it's always been important to me, but uh, yeah, but the fights are dropping off and stuff. Two, two Irish lads, two local lads, why not bump us up in the card a little bit? Yeah. It, makes, it makes sense. We have a good draw. We have uh, we got a good crowd following about us, so I don't see why not. You uh, surprised a lot of people in that Galar Bufondo fight, right? Like, I mean, you're known for your grappling ability, your submission ability, but you you were kind of had to stand with him for for basically 15 minutes there, and you, and you stayed in the fight. Um, you know, do you feel like a lot more people are aware of you after that? Because when Bufondo signed for uh, Bellator, everybody was expecting all of these highlight highlight reel knockouts to come. I mean, were you impressed by what you what you did that night? Um, I, see, I still don't think people realize that like the stand up I have, like. Um, we're sparring day in, day out with all the lads and team running on and stuff like that. Um, and just because all my wins become, like, come through submission, and obviously I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu as well, um, doesn't mean I don't have a good stand-up. And um, I, was, I was told going into this fight, like obviously I took it on a short, day, a short note, I was, I was told going into the fight that, um, oh, you have to watch out for these kicks and these kicks and flashy this and spinny this. Alex to that, just... Get in and throw your hands at him, man. Um, obviously, he done well with the uh, stopping takedowns as well. But um, we, we never felt we was in fear or in, in, like in danger of being knocked out or anything like that with him. Um, he is flashy, of course. He was flashy. He was throwing all his mad stuff. But uh, there's no, there was no, there was no fear there. There was no danger there. Um, I'm glad to stand up with people if they want to stand up as well. I gotta ask you about Phil Mulpeter, right? Because he's one of those guys. I was just speaking to Andy about it. Like back in the day, everybody thought Phil was gonna make it to the UFC. He's had some epic fights with with your teammates Paul and John. I mean, it feels like a big one to me. Like when I think about this, like this guy, this guy is a borderline legend kind of status in Ireland. Is this a big one for you as well? Like, do you have a lot of respect for Phil in that manner? Yeah, I have a lot of respect for Phil. Like he's around a long time as well. I remember having my second amateur fight. Um, on battle zone, he was fighting pro. Then he was having a he was having a, a title for you on battle zone. Um, he's around a long time. We do respect him. Um, yeah, the cliche thing of respect everyone that gets in that cage, I do. Um, and he's not one of them that shy talks. I hate all that shit. I don't like shy talking myself. I don't like them shy talking. It doesn't make sense. Two people that are after agreeing in the fight. We're after giving us six to eight weeks of leading camp, and now let's get in and fight. I see uh, a lot of your teammates are poking some fun at the fact that you guys have uh, started to kind of look like each other before this fight. <laughs> Falling into each other. <laughs> the change of beard never helps, does it? <laughs> but it, it is a big one in terms of, like, I know I know you spoke about your respect for Phil, but this win, I mean, it does, it, it, it puts you onto a new stratosphere as, on, as far as I'm concerned. Do you think that as well, or do you, do you try not to put too much importance on these things? Oh, like, I see the importance, and I know my teammates see the importance of it too. Um, Oh, you, a win here would be huge for me. Um, I want to make a statement there as well. I want, I want Bellator to notice me, um, to notice that I belong in that roster as well. So, um, no, a win, a win here would be a, a big statement there. Yeah. Is there anywhere in particular you feel like you know you have a huge advantage? We saw the the last time we saw Phil, I believe it was that Nicholas Dalby fight, right? And it was a pretty grueling fight over the two rounds. Is there anything that's sticking out to you? Like th this is where I need to uh, expose him, so to speak. Um, I, lo I just want to take him into deep waters. Yeah, um, I know he. I know both was uh, in fairness now two fighters that like to push a pace and to march forward the whole time as well. So I don't see a lot of back steps being taken. Um, but as far as um, as far as that, like keeping range, light on the feet, nice shots off. Uh, we're using my distance as well. Um, as I said, I, I don't mind standing up for three rounds. I don't mind wrestling much of a three rounds. I don't mind doing groundwork for which of a three rounds. Um, I've been putting work in on all. I'm a well-rounded fighter. I, um, I feel anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting in there now at this stage. Please, um, can't wait. <laughs> nice one. Thanks very much, Keith. Great speaking to you. Yeah, man. Thanks very much. Thank you.